Hey guys, good to have you back. It is Monday. Let's get back into crafting. If by chance this is your first time here, let me introduce myself. My name is Margaret. I am from the Netherlands. I do paper crafting, junk journaling, junk journal related projects and the occasional vintage treasure hunting. Yes, um, I have a project in mind and I want to do with you today. But before I do that, I have a little bit of a story to tell. So if you're not into my storytelling, I cannot imagine that you're not. Uh, I'm making chapters so you can skip the whole bit and then get straight into crafting. So I woke up Saturday morning feeling poorly. Yes, I felt bad. I was a little bit under the weather. And when that happens, I feel really sorry for myself. And what is it that you do when you feel sorry for yourself? You go buy yourself some new craft supplies because that makes me happy. <laughs> but I didn't feel nice. So I was like... Uh, I'm not going to take a shower. I'm not going to put on makeup or nice clothes. I'm just going to put on my sweats and my sneakers, go into the shop and get straight out. Because what I wanted to buy was this one. I have a two and a half inch circle punch now. Yes, took me a while to find it, but they had it. So yeah, I my husband took me there and I was like, wait in the car. I'll be back within a minute. Well, the minute took longer than was expected. Let me tell you what happened. I went into the shop, took my item and then stood in line to pay. But it was very busy. So in the corner of my eye, I saw all these people gathering around a person. And I thought, I recognize that woman. It was Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Now, let me tell you, um, I am not a planner or a card maker or anything. So I wasn't really that familiar with Elizabeth Craft Designs. Up until a couple of weeks ago, I didn't even know that it was a Dutch brand um or who she was or where she was from but i happened to stumble upon a video of a craft room tour i think it was three or four weeks ago because i love those videos i'm gonna make one i'm gonna make a craft room tour for sure uh so i saw the video and this lovely lady who i believe lives in canada uh, spoke english with a very heavy dutch accent not even dutch but my sort of Dutch because she's from the area that I live in um, and I was like who is this then and then I saw Elizabeth Craft Designs and I was sort of stunned what it's she's Dutch and she's sweet and cute and uh, also from my neighborhood so what is it that you do you're standing there in your sweats hair not combed probably smelly and Elizabeth Craft Designs else was there yeah what is it that you do I knew this was probably my only chance to say hi to her. So I went there, smelly and all. And I was like, hi, Els, how, how are you doing? And she was so sweet. She was so kind. She had a chat with everyone and she handed out chocolate. Her husband was there and she had a table full of her lovely stuff. Um, and we had a little bit of a chat and I told her about my YouTube channel and then immediately she took out her phone just, you know, to look me up. And when she saw my, my channel, she was like, yeah, I've seen your videos. They're great. So I was like, what? You've seen my videos? I could cry, but I didn't. So I asked her, else can I please take a picture of you and then put it on my Instagram and on my community page on YouTube? And she, she was like, sure. Um, you know, stand next to me and let's take a picture. And I was like, no, no, I'm not going to be in this picture in the state that I am in now. So I took a picture of both of them and I posted it on my community page and on Instagram. It was so, so lovely. So, of course, I had to buy some of her stuff. Uh, now, let me tell you, I have a couple of things uh, from Els. I have a stamp set and two die cut sets, I believe. And one of them I really, really love. It's with the little hole reinforcers. I love that one. Um, but I thought, let's, let's just get deeper into Elizabeth Craft Design. So, I bought two items. Yes. I'm in love with them. I really need to share them with you guys. Because if you're into Tim Holtz, you're going to be into Elizabeth Craft Designs. Because the items that I bought just scream Tim Holtz to me. So let me show you. I'm going to put this out of the way. I bought two items. This is actually for Christmas. It is a paper pack. It says 
Christmas Lives Here. And it's designed by Esther Glass. Um, I don't really know who that is. She's on her team. Maybe it's her daughter or I. I don't know. But she uh, spoke a little bit about her. Because she said, well, what is it that you do? And I told her I do junk journaling with some vintage stuff. She said, ah, oh, you should look up Esther. So I need to do that still. So I uh, bought a paper pack and then washi tapes. Yes. Um, they looked sort of nice and i was like well you know let's let's just have a quick look and you know it was 20 percent off and i am dutch so when it's 20 percent off i need to buy it there you go let's open it up these are wonderful washi tapes uh designed for me <laughs> absolutely it's all letters it's all letters all different sort of fonts look at that yeah wonderful not cutesy or anything no just wonderful and then this has, um, it says, happy little moments, let's make stories together. Uh, that's really nice, but you can use like happy or moments or stories or together. You can use all the words separately or in a sentence. So I love that one. And this is my absolute favorite. I already sort of checked them out, guys. Look at that. It has tickets and advertisements. And, well, fishies. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. Isn't this sort of Tim Holtzy style? I, I believe so. Well, And then these ones. This is my absolute favorite one. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Yes, yes, yes. Scripty bits and all sorts. Wow. Is this called anything? I don't know. It's called Reminiscence Number 1. Yeah. I have another one with sort of dates. Oh, she is a planner after all. Two, three, one, two, three, with the months, and I love it. And then this red one. Okay, happy first class confidential. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Wasn't expensive at all. I mean, hello. Love it. Um, quickly, uh, let me quickly show the paper. It has these sort of hexagons on here. I am also going to use that, I guess. And the other side is, you know, with sort of typed fonts. Love it. Look at this. It is for Christmas because it says here uh, Santa Claus and such and has some pine trees. But this is, it's almost like Tim Holtz, right? I am sorry. I'm sorry to compare it to Tim Holtz um, else. But, you know, that is actually a compliment. Really nice neutrals like concrete or something like this and this looks like jelly plating which i'm not into at all but i do love the uh, effect it gives beautiful neutrals and then with scripties it says jingle all the way so yeah it is for christmas look at those oh yes with the deer and yeah yes i am absolutely in love with this ah oh, then this I use this um, image all the time with the old bingo cards and what? Yeah, I I love it. Did I tell you that I love it? Really nice and grungy again. This like it's all torn and oi oi oi. Yeah, um, I am really sad. I only bought one. <laughs> I need to buy more. Look at this one. I love this one. Ho ho ho. With Santa and labels. And then this one. Where you can cut out all the labels. And the numbers. And has red on the back. And then sort of candy cane stripes. And stars. Star on this one. Yes, I know it's Christmas. But I can use this for December. It doesn't need to be Christmas. I can cover this up with, you know, whatever. So, yeah, um, I am not sponsored by Els. I just want to tell you, if you're not into planning or have not heard of Elizabeth Craft Designs, check her out. I will check her out a lot more because I didn't, I was, you know, I was feeling poorly. I needed to leave and get back um, home and um, feel bad for myself again. So that was my quick little haul uh, from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Um, if by chance you're watching else, probably not, but you never know. Uh, thank you so much, sweetheart. You are absolutely wonderful person. That was it for my little story. Now let's get back into crafting. What I want to make today is triple 
round tags. Yep. <laughs> I want to use my circle punches. That's why I got this, because I had this idea. I punched three different uh, sizes of circles and then attach them with a brad so you can move them about. Yeah, this is of course a very poorly designed uh, prototype. We are going to make some lovely ones, decorate them with um, beautiful vintage papers and, um, you know, my bits and bobs have another topper on them. What will we use these for? You can put these in a pocket in a journal or uh, hang them on your journal as sort of a dangle. It's a, a junk journal embellishment. Yes, I think it's going to be nice. So let me tell you uh, the supplies that I'll be using to make this. So I am going to use circle punches. I know probably not all of you have these circle punches uh, but maybe you have this you could also use your die cut machine uh, i have this sort of set with all sorts of circles and that will also work uh, if not hopefully you're very good at circle cutting you could um, sort of have uh, this as a template and then something bigger and something a lid of something or you know you can do that um and then I'm going to use less loved scrapbook paper as a base. I'm going to cover them with beautiful old papers. I'm going to decorate them with my bits and bobs. I am going to use, I have these brads. I have had these in my stash for a long time. Um, and I thought, why not use them? I want this to be sort of a fall theme, but then very neutral. I'm going to make it very neutral because, you know, I'm into that at the moment. Washi tapes. For toppers, I am using probably something like this. I have some faux sari silk. Maybe this one. You never know. Um, glue. Inking. The usual. So, um, these are sort of very handy to have if you don't have that you know don't have this hopefully you'll stick around <laughs> so let's get started before i punch the circles out i want to decorate this piece of um scrapbook paper well not decorate it just you know make a big collage i'm going to use uh some scraps some book pages ledger number paper just old old yummy stuff and i'm also going to use um one digital kit. This is an old one. I've had this one for like three, four years already. It is by My Porch Prince. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Uh, and the name is Autumn White or White Autumn. I believe it's still on there. Uh, but I really love these images. And these are the tags. As I told you, it's going to be a sort of neutral one. And these are the labels that I really love. But they're a little bit big for the text that I want to make. So I printed them to two page. So probably we can use them as is and she has little envelopes and coin pockets. It was a really nice kit. I bought it a couple of years ago and well, I use it on a regular basis. So yeah, I'm going to do one side. I'm going to cover with the book pages and the other side I'm going to cover with these. Yeah, does that make any sense? Well, hopefully it does. I'm just going to put this on. Do you have a glue page? I do, I do, I do. You could, of course, first uh, punch all the circles out and then decorate them, but th it will involve a lot of cutting. Um, and I don't want to do that, so I'm just going to do it uh, like so. Let's have some of this. Isn't that absolutely lovely? Well, I think so. I think it's fantastic. Beautiful old, well, probably antique ledger. Is it antique? What date does it say? 19 something. <laughs> A glue page, love. Yeah. Otherwise, it's going to be really, really sticky. There you go. Yep. So this is just going to be sort of a background. And it will be really random if you uh, punch the circles out. Now on the back I'm going to have these. Oh, 
one and two will that fit it will hopefully it will be wide enough let's quickly have a look yeah that that'll be fine if we put this one in yeah just have it in the middle i'm gonna have it in the middle i sort of measured it i have no clue how this will turn out uh but you know i was playing with the idea of well, actually, I was playing with the idea of making um, round labels. Yeah. Uh, I'm still working on that one. <laughs> so I was like, I need to have two two of these together. But I, I think there's a lot of room in between still. So I need to figure out a way to solve that. And then I was like, well, how about three? How about this? So that's what we're going to do. So. This one on the front, this one on the back. Let's just see how this will work out. I am going to do it like so because I really want to have a piece of this somewhere. There you go. Well, it's three layers thick now. So it will take some more pressure. I'm going to have this one... On the bottom there you go and then the a one inch and let's see how far will we get oh yeah that'll work there you go so now we have three and i already love them i already look at these yeah and you can do it like so yeah can, you can sort of maneuver them about Oh, already love them. I made a bunch. Yep. And inked all around them. Yeah, they're all different and they're all backed with uh, the papers from my porch print. Sort of neutral fall. It's called uh, white autumn or autumn white. So what I want to do before I put them all together, I just want to decorate them. And for that, I have, I have this sort of washi that I have, this roll. It's not glossy, it is sort of transparent, but it's different than normal washi, which is really matte. And this is sort of, well, well say semi-gloss. It has these really nice images on them that I thought would make for a lovely sort of decorations. What do you think? Well, I think so. So I want to use some of these. Uh, and I also have some other washi tapes and washi stickers. Oh, look at the pointy finger. Are we gonna do the pointy finger? I think we are. What else is on here? Some berries. A perfume bottle? Why not? This is, I believe, Lily of the Valley, which is not fall at all, but this is fall. Well, sort of fall. Again, berries. Or why not have this one on here as well? So I want to use a couple of these. I think they'll look nice. And some labels. Maybe a postage stamp or two. Don't know. I also have this booklet. Yes, this is from AliExpress. I get a lot of questions. Where did you get your stickers and such from? It's just AliExpress. If you want to know where I got this... Make a screenshot, yes, and then use it in your AliExpress app and um, it will search for this one. Yeah, I love this one because it is full of um, mushrooms. So yeah, gonna use these for sure as well. Let's just start decorating. So how was your weekend, guys? <laughs> Who, what, what celebrities did you meet? Well else really didn't act like a celebrity she was just the nicest person ever oh that was the backing okay ta-da gonna do this with the words the berries these are cherries 
the chairs is not a really sort of autumn -y berry, is it now? No. No. And that's okay. So this coming weekend, I am going to go antiquing. Really? Yeah, never done, done, done that before. I'm going to go to Belgium and uh, visit a couple of antique markets, I guess. See if we can find any treasures. Hello, can you please come off? Yeah, there it goes. There you go, some cherries, some berries. I'm going to alternate between them. I don't do not want all of them to have berries on, of course. And fruit. Pomegranate? Probably is. Let's cut them a little bit to size. I've had that tape for um, a little while and I've never used it like in a whole strip. I just cut out some pieces. There you go. Pomegranates. Hello. Work with me, love. There you go. Pomegranates. And let's have this one over here as well. With some other sort of berries. Let's cut these two sides a little bit. There you go. And then this one. So we need to do some more decorating, of course. How about a nice label? I have these nice small sticker labels from my friend Sandra at Insta on Instagram. I will today link her shop below because she uh, told me she has these um, in stock now. So you can always order them. I already love it. Love it. Cute little labels. What you can also do is have a label on there that goes off the page. Don't be afraid to have something off the page. That actually looks really nice. Speaking of collaging, I have joined Marguerite Miller's sort of collaging community website thingy. I can't remember the name. But if you go to um, Marguerite Millet Miller's YouTube page, you'll probably find it. I was invited by Inge, a Dutch lady. She said, well, go, um, go see, go check us out because uh, there are lots of ladies here that watch your channel. So... So went there. See how nice that looks. Just have it go a little bit off the page. Yeah. It's so sort of a trick for collaging. What we want on here. Small brown one. Yep. So yeah, I joined there. Uh, I haven't posted, really posted anything yet because... Um, I didn't have anything to share, but I probably share these today. Probably will. What we have on here? Let's find a mushroom. These are different sort of washi stickers. These have sort of the matte borders around them. Let's see how this look. Is this? Oh no! It really does disappear. Oh, like so. Love them, love them, love them. This needs glue because this is a Tracy Fox one.
very cute bigger label something else i also have these washi tapes will that look nice this is with three sort of branches can we have some on sure why not Normally I would flip it over, but I'm not going to do that. Also, that's going to be very difficult when it's round. And uh, of course a label. Smaller one. Yep. Have you seen Rachel's craft room? She did a video on her new uh, craft room. So lovely, so recognizable. I have so many sort of things the same as she has. So it was like, yeah, yeah, I know that's that that looks good. I also have that. Yeah, I also have that. <laughs> that was nice. Oh yeah, we were going to use some of these. That says fall. And let's do that one. Let's have some words on here. I'm not going to put the whole tag on. I just want to have the word fall on here. That is the brilliant thing about um, digitals. No, no, need to be careful. You can use them again and again every year. And you don't need to use it as a tag. I'm just only going to use the word fall on here. I'm even going to cut it by hand. Wow. Wow. Really? Yeah already regretting that because I cannot cut straight for the life of me well it's already grungy now yeah that's okay <laughs> oh, I really mocked that up didn't I ah oh, but it looks nice it looks nice though I want to have a mushroom behind here a bigger one let's see oh these let's do these Because it is the season for mushrooms. There you go. And then fall. Yeah? Yeah. I think fall is going to fall off a little bit. Oh yeah, lovely, lovely, lovely. What we're gonna do with this one? I don't know. Perfume bottle. Oh, this looks nice as well. Let's see what I have on here. A fern, piece of a fern. More berries. More berries. Yeah, lovely. I'm going to assemble one of them. Let's see how they look. If we stack them atop each other, um, I want something here. Yeah? something that matches this so i think i want to have a label go here to just repeat the color a little bit these will you know turn and flip and such but i just think it's nice to have that color repeated over there Yep, there you go. I think I want to have this brad with a wooden heart on it here. And then, I don't know, we could use some of this, some of this, some of this to have it as a topper. 
I'm just going to line them all up. I'm going to make a hole with my cropper there. The smallest setting. You could punch a hole with your awl if you want to. I'm just going to do this. Eyeballing the middle. Oh, that's a lot of layers. Still works though. Yeah. So I'm going to have this through here to attach it. But before I do that, I want to think about, I'm just going to cut a bit off. I think I want to make some sort of a topper here. That's a bit much. From there. I cut off too much, too much. I'm going to scrunch it first again. This is not real sari silk. It is actually sort of nylon lining. <laughs> I'm going to do it like so. Yes, I'm going to make bunny ears. Then I'm just, you know, making it up as we go, guys. Putting the bread through. That will probably work because this is very sort of soft material. There you go. On here. Oh, yeah. So I've put it all through. Now I need to open these brads. Unfortunately, they open upwards. I'm not really happy about that. So I'm going to sort of maneuver them about. See? But that's way too big. Way too big. Making bunny ears. Oh yeah, but it looks nice though. It's so cute. Yeah. See? And what you can do now is, you know, put this over here, put that over there. You can maneuver it all about. And on the back, there's space to write on. Not really happy about the legs of the brat, though. So I think I want to cover these with something. If I move them about, will these move about as well? Yeah. Yeah. So I basically cannot do anything about this. That is too bad. We're going to try though. I'm going to put a sticker on it. Oh, what am I going to put on it? Uh, let's have a look see. Is this big enough? Don't think so. Let's go look. I found a sticker that I like on here. I put the legs to the side. Yeah. If I hold this, then you can still move this about. So... It'll work. I was afraid there that it wasn't going to work. I, was, I thought I had a brilliant idea. It doesn't work. Well, that's not the first time, of course. But this should work. I need to cover it because otherwise you will hurt yourself. They are sharp. Are these big enough? Come on, little sticker. Yes, it's big enough. I'm really going to press it down. There you go. Yeah, it works. See? can move them about and the brad stays in place. So, it worked. Thank goodness. Cute, right? Let's make another one. I've also cut out the word autumn. I want to have this on here. And this one, and I did a pointy finger. And let's just see. We have this here, here, and here. Uh, I think I want to have something here on the bottom and another mushroom or this fern. Not really sort of autumny, but you know, I just like this fern. So I'm just gonna have it on there. There you go. Yep. Autumn. And then probably another label.
for one and two. So if we layer it up, this goes here, this goes here. There's going to be a brad here. Is this one nice? And it says, hello, hello. Four. Not a heart. Well, let's do this one. Do we need something here? I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. Maybe here. Um, I have these. Is this too orange for the rest? No, I think that'll work. That'll work. Now we need to think about another topper on here. First I'm going to make a hole. Lining everything up. Yep, there we go. What was the one? We're going to do this one. Um, I was thinking, maybe, maybe, because I have another idea. Don't know if this is big enough or not, but let's just see. Maybe if we do it sort of like so. Have this one on here and then this one go through. I think that'll look nice. But we need to make holes in the fabric then. Is this too big? A mm, little bit. Let's have it a little bit smaller. I'm going to overlap them. Like so. Putting another hole in. Never used this trick before, so I have no clue if this will work. I'm putting these legs through and then through all the holes. I don't know. I like it, but I want this to be... Let me flip it around. Does it look better? Yes. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's cute, it's cute. See that? I don't even know how to call this. Well, we're, we're gonna call it cute. It's cute. I'm gonna put a sticker on here again, probably the same one because of the color. Yeah, like it. Two more to go. For this one, we still need to decorate the bottom one. I have this mushroom left over here. I think that will look nice. And then with a label. It's a big label, so I'm going to have it go sort of off the page over there. First the mushroom. And there you go. A mushroom on there. And then this. This over here. Okay. Do I have a pin? Probably do. There you go. Do you hear my cat snoring? <laughs> we moved my desk to the other, uh, the other part of our sort of office, craft room, studio conservatory. And there's like this big lazy chair that she's very lazy in. So she is like right beside me now, but she's snoring so loud. Okay, it's gonna go like this, 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 and this. Yeah. This as the brad. Yep. Oh, I like it. I need to ink it. The edge of the sticker. This is a very nice project to do. 
it is fun and it is easy. Now you can blow whatever you want, love, but what's inside here will not disappear when you blow on it. Okay, there we go. Yep. I think I want to have a pretty bow on here. Um, using, I have a piece of ribbon here. Let's see if I can sort of maneuver this underneath. Yeah. And then make a bow, sort of. It's going to be fiddly, but it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. First a knot. Yeah. And then, and then we still need to tie the bow. see can we maneuver this to like over here and this to over there <laughs> it'll work out it'll work out i'm gonna cut it to size guys i will yep i'm gonna clip it we sort of flip this, we can flip this, we can flip this. See? Bow. Ta-da! Cute? Yeah. I need to put something over here. I'm going to put one of these there. Oh, with the other one, I did washi tape. Yeah. I thought that looked nice. With this one, I'm going to have one more of these stickers because the, the image on there is really lovely. I don't want to sort of cover the whole bit. So I'm just going to use another one of those. Yeah, I'm going to have that one over there. And then we need to do the last one. For the last one, we need to decorate the top one and the bottom one. This one is fine. I'm going to use this brad with the little heart on it. Yes, and I want to use this as a topper. Don't know how yet, but something like that. And I think this tape, I've used that on the other one. And it's really nice with the gold sort of dots on it. So I think I want to have just a strip over here. All the way across. Yep. Yeah. Then have this one on and this one on. Yeah? Yeah. Yes. Lavender salts. Nothing to do with fall at all. But I just love the colors on here. See, when we put this on, it will stick out. That's sort of the plan. That's the plan. Okie dokie. Here's one, and number two, number three, do you want another mushroom? I'll do this one, and a bit of the tape perhaps. Where's the tape? The tape is here, lovey. I'm gonna do a bit on the top. Yep, cute. And this one, this is going to go off the page. You'll have it like so. 
Oh yeah, we like it. And by we, I mean I. There, there, and then this one. Yes, yes. Lining them up. Yep. Now for this closure, or the closure, it's called a topper love. Yeah. I was thinking to have some sort of a loop and have this go through with stuff sticking out. Let's see. Again, no clue what I'm doing. Just trying to figure it out. I have this like so. Have my legs go through there. Oh yeah, and then shorten these. And also have the heart go the right way. There you go. Let it turn. Do you want to make this bigger, this loop? Yeah. Yeah, I want to make the loop bigger. Like so, have it go the right way in. If that is at all possible. Struggle, struggle, the struggle is real. Hopefully this will still work. <laughs> One, two, three. Yeah, there we go. No. Okay, second attempt. <laughs> it did work the first time. Okay, this should work. Yep. And I actually want this to fray. Yeah. But then be shorter and shorter. Snippy here and a snippy there. There you go. Yeah, lovely with the loop. We have this one, this one, all different. I'm just gonna put something on here on the back and then we'll look at the end result. Here they are. This was the first one we made with the bunny ears. And then you can maneuver them all about. I think they'll be cute in a pocket in a journal. That'll be nice. And then the, the backs you could sort of journal on if you want to. See, all different. And then we made this one with the pointy finger. Not even Mr. Tim Holtz one. Yeah. It's like a, also a peekaboo. So peekaboo, what does it say? Autumn or you <laughs> You need to flip it this way. Then it says autumn. Yeah, cute. And then this one with the bow and the beautiful mushrooms. Yeah, I do like them. It's different. I have not seen this before. Well, it's probably done, been done before in a much better way. Yes. Not like me fumbling. Why is it this one is moving? You cannot have that. There you go. And then the last one with the loop. Well, you can make this into a dangle if you want to. Yeah. Perfect. Guys, thank you for watching me fumble all day. <laughs> I did enjoy it. I did enjoy it. But, you know, these are prototypes. Next time I'll make them, next fall or maybe spring, they'll be much nicer. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll be back again tomorrow. Bye, guys.